Hello, congenitally missing lateral incisors in the maxilla are quite often. So what are the treatment options in teenagers, in young patients? Usually two major options are discussed. First, orthodontic closure of the space. That means the canine is moved to uh, next to the central incisor and then the posterior teeth are also uh, moved to the mesial, to the anterior. But there are severe disadvantages. First of all, the color, the shape of the canines do not really fit um, the shape and color of the little incisors. Second, we lose the canine guidance. Usually the canines have a guidance function for the dentition. So when a patient is moving to the lateral, the canines guide the dentition and protect the posterior teeth. That is lost when the canines are moved to the anterior position. And in addition to that, usually when um, the space is closed in the maxilla, additional extractions are needed in the mandible as well. And last but not least, if teeth are moved to the edential area, like in our photo on the left upper side, then there is always a risk of root absorption caused by the orthodontic treatment. So the major alternative to orthodontic space closure is the replacement of the missing teeth with resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis. As you can see on the right side, you see here a patient treated in the 90s, so 25 years ago, and you see the same patient 25 years later, so this year, and you see the restorations withstood the test of time and the patient is still happy and um, that is a huge advantage as this patient still has his canine guidance and the color and the shape of the lateral incisors fit better as compared to the situation on the left side with the lower photo. The disadvantage of course of the resin body fixed dental prosthesis is that we have to uh, prepare the enamel a little bit so we have to roughen the enamel a little bit um, and of course there's always a little small risk that a resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis might debond when a trauma occurs. But under normal circumstances, so under normal biting force, we do not see any debondings of uh, replaced lateral incisors due to the relatively low forces in the anterior and also the relatively small size, uh, there are much less debondings when uh, lateral incisors are replaced as compared to central incisors. So um, as this case shows, uh, resin bonded fixed dental procedures are a valid treatment option and we started in the 90s with alumina ceramic and in some cases we had um, fractures of the framework because alumina ceramic of course was much weaker than our zirconia ceramic we have today. Since 2001 we are using um, high strength zirconia ceramic and we haven't seen any fracture when replacing lateral incisors. So over 20 years no fractures and from that point of view we can really say that zirconia ceramic cantilevered resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis will um, be a good treatment or uh, option uh, for many years to come. I hope this information was helpful and I wish you all the best. Bye!